Hello everybody, I know it's been such a long time but welcome back to my channel. The first thing I want to say is I'm so so sorry for not being so consistent, for not posting for a while. I have been passionate, I've really enjoyed doing everything about YouTube, it's just the fact that I've been so overwhelmed with work, different things like that, it's been hard. Um, if you've been following me for all this time, not following, subscribing to my channel. If you've been subscribing to my channel for all this time, you will know that I've got a little puppy and she's so gorgeous. So that's what's literally been occupying my time for a lot of the time. So I've been working nine to five, puppy duties, the whole lot, it has been hard. But never mind about that, I'm bigger and I'm better and I'm here today so I'm just so happy to be back. So first and foremost, before we get into the video, I'm just gonna explain the purpose of this video. And the reason why I'm making this video is not because I'm trying to be like them social media influencers that are stunting, you know, having the board and they have nothing to talk about so they start talking about the personal life. That is never been me. I'm a private person, I like to keep my business to my business. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to just show you how real life is, you know, how people enter relationships and how we leave them and something that has kind of affected me and I want to kind of give you an insight about my life and if you surely can relate to anything that I'm saying please make sure you comment, like, subscribe or share this video. Thank you. Okay so obviously if you've read the title, if you click the video you know that I've kind of, you know, I'm not in a relationship anymore so I'm, si I'm single. It kind of feels weird to say that word single because I feel like I'm just constantly in relationships or some type of situationship and it's it's weird to say that word single but um, not long ago, I think it was literally about a few days ago, maybe five days ago, Tuesday night, as of Tuesday night I've been single and to me I feel like in any relationship it's important to kind of have a compromise, compromise instead of the things that you expect from each other, your value, values and you know different things, different needs. So, how I got into the relationship, the last one that's just ended this time, shock horror, um, I feel like it was kind of rushed. So we met on a dating site, not going to go into too much detail, we hit it off, everything was good, you know, got to know the person. I feel like in the beginning stages of every single dating like kind of thing, it's better to get to know them as a friend, but me being me, you know, I've been just rushing into everything, you know, we vibe, good looking, tall, beard, you know kind you know you, you, I was taking superficial things and because I was taking superficial things I wasn't really focusing on the attributes and traits that I wanted from a man so that led me into a relationship so quickly I don't even know how long it was it would have been about two weeks we were in a relationship I'm not bashing anyone to say that you can't be in a relationship for two weeks there are several people that can do that and there's nothing wrong with that but for me personally I felt like I didn't know the person and I didn't feel like he didn't know me I am straight by the way, <laughs> so if you think I'm a lesbian it's not, but he didn't know me, I didn't know him properly and that's where the issue became. So I'm not going to jibber jabber, you know, blab, I want to get straight to the point because I don't want to take too much of your time, but the reason why my relationship didn't work in my opinion was because first and foremost, like I said in the first point, it was all a rush. I didn't get a chance to get to know him and he didn't get a chance to get to know me. And because of that, two people, hungry for something, love, affection, whatever, we combined together and it just became a mess. Um, wasn't saying it was a bad relationship, but it could have been something a lot more better. With me, I've always been a person to think that when you get in a relationship with someone, you have to have similar values, have similar passions or anything that will have to drive you outside external things. So with him, I kind of thought, you know what, he, he fits the bill on paper physically, but nothing from him, if I'm really being honest, I'm not slashing or bashing, but nothing I could see or screaming potential, you know, future. And because of that, I ignored the flags and I carried on getting into it. So I felt like in that moment, I knew that this whole drama could have been avoided if I just took the time to get to know the person, listen to God's signals, listen to my heart, listen to the red flags and just took the time. When you date somebody, don't ever go in heads first, diving in the sea, nothing. You have to dip your foot in the pond, don't just jump in. And that's what I did. And that's what's got me here. So the specific reason why I left my last relationship, why I decided to end it, why I'm making this video, I don't want to bash again, so if you are watching it, you whoever is watching it, <laughs> the person hasn't, 
you know, this is getting a bit awkward, but whoever's watching this yet, I'm not bashing nobody. All I'm just trying to say is I ended it because I wasn't getting what I wanted and I don't want to go into detail because I'm not really that tough person to blab on the, the web, but basically I felt like my values have, were not aligned with his values and I felt like I wasn't getting the effort from a man. To me, when a man values a woman, he will go out of his way to do the things to make her happy. And not materialistic things like buying her cars and buying her shoes and no, although people do get that and that pisses me off, but do the things that will make him want to impress you so with me on my behalf i don't think i valued myself properly in the relationship and because of that i slightly felt taken advantage of and if you can relate women please like this comment drop me a message but tell me about this because it is true i felt like i wasn't worthy enough to get what i needed and i'm not saying he was a bad person he wasn't but i felt like i could have had a lot more and if i valued myself if i respected myself if i loved myself a bit more i probably would have got it but because i kind of felt I think insecure in myself I didn't get what I needed so effort and effort in terms of time not just money but time effort everything it makes a relationship you can never get in a relationship without the fundamentals of making an effort and that's what he lacked and that's why I said goodbye so I'm gonna end this video now because I don't feel like I'm gonna spiral into issues because this is not about issues, this is all about positivity, hence why my channel is called DIY Tapiness. If you're new here, please subscribe. There's loads more videos of this. But um what I learned is really just to always, always, always listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. If you see a red flag sur surf up in the surface, don't ignore the red flag. If it's time to take action, take it. Don't you know, you're just trying to fill a need in your stomach so you quickly rush in head first, never do that. If you feel like you're not happy with something, you've communicated and something that cannot be compromised, then you have to end it. Never, ever, ever just rush into something just because you want to fill a need, never. Um, I've also learned that it's so, so important to kind of like prior prioritise self-love because I feel like the thing called self-love is the same thing that's going to help you have successful relationships, successful friendships. It's co it's based purely on the core fundamental of self-love and if you don't have the right self-love, you'll be seeking self-love on the outside and then it kind of affects your relationships. I'm not saying people that are broken can't have relationships. Hello. <laughs> I'm getting there slowly but I kind of struggle because I lacked I am lacking a bit of you know the self-love aspect but I feel like I want to put more time into developing myself as a person into growing into doing the things I love and I think that's when when I am happy somewhere along the rainbow I'm gonna finally get and meet the right person that's for me and we're gonna both be for each other by the way if you're liking these points about self-love and building and confidence make sure you tell me because I want no one to tell me and obviously in the next few videos I'm going to be talking more about them so stay tuned. So yeah to end this video I'm single I'm not sad you know what for the first time ever I felt good I don't feel depressed I don't feel angry I just feel free the first time in my life I can finally let go of looking for other people to feed my needs to feed my ego to help me feel good I feel free and I just want to say that self-love is so critical in any type of relationship. So if you're on your journey, please work hard, invest in yourself and you will definitely get to where you want to be. But you have to put you first. So yeah, end of the video. Thank you for tuning in. I'm back. I'm better. I'm feeling good. Like, comment, share it. Like, like, comment and share it. I mean it. <laughs> and if you want to see more, let me know. But yeah, until we meet again. Bye.